Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is CFI Munden, and um, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. I use ChatGPT to help me study for my um, CFI checkride, and I believe my instrument, no, commercial checkride. Um, how did I do that? So it doesn't matter what AI program you have. I think like Elon Musk made one called Gemini or something. I can't remember. I use ChatGPT, um, and basically what you do is you use the voice button or whatever you want to call it that turns the chat like it's like Siri kind of like a really smart Siri and you can have conversations with this AI through that AI's voice and what I had the um, AI do was I said pretend like you are a DPE and we're going from start to finish on this oral portion of the check ride commercial level or instrument level whatever and ask me questions exactly like an examiner. I told it, I literally want you to pretend like you are a DPE and I am someone who's trying to get a certificate. And I have the upgraded version of ChatGPT, so it's like $20 a month. And it's a little smarter and it's a little a little bit more um, with it than the normal version. But I'm telling you, like, I would do this for hours. I drive two hours to work every single day. Well, one there, um, one back. And I would just have a conversation with this AI program and it would, it's so realistic now, like it'll stutter sometimes and it'll say, um, and then it'll be like, well, this is how you could say it better, you know? And it was just like really important to have that conversation with this AI, which is this AI who's pretending to be examiner. And I felt like I did a mock check ride over and over and over again. It would be so thorough that it would be like, okay, you described LPV really well. Um, is there a better way that you could describe this? And I'm like, actually, yeah, there is. And then if I didn't explain something good enough, and this was the key here, is that it would correct me and be like, okay, well, LPV is this, yes, correct, but it would make more sense if you described it like this instead. So having it confirm like, okay, you're on the right track, but this is how you make it better, and this is why you're saying this, blah, 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 um, was really nice. And I could pause this simulation that I had with this AI and be like, okay, pause for a moment. Can you describe to me LNAV, VNAV, or can you describe to me uh, VDP? Cause I'm not, I don't think I really understand it. And then we'd pause and then it would explain to me and a DP is not going to do this. Okay. But this AI will pause and then, okay, my, okay, let's get back into it. And it would set it up exactly like I had my check rides. Like it would start with currency and proficiency requirements and like, you know, uh, a tomato flames, 91, two, one, three, nine, one, two, five kind of stuff. And then it would move in, I don't know if it was referencing the ACS or, or what, where it was getting this data from, but I'm telling you guys, like, it was really helpful. So, point is, if you guys have, like, ChatGPT, um, go to the bottom right and click on the little microphone, activate the voice, prompt it, be like, pretend like you're an examiner and I'm an instrument student trying to get a certificate. And it's it really, really helped me. And I just want to offer that because I feel like that's something that's overlooked, is that utilizing AI for studying and how you can utilize it. Um, really nice. So anyways, uh, leave a like and subscribe if you guys appreciated this video. And let me know if you guys have ever had any experience like using AI to help you study for, um, for check rides or, or just in general, because I found it really helpful. All right. See ya.